All right, I'm the Flight Rain Master, and today we're going to discuss whether you can replace this with this. All right, so this is going to be the review of the Bosch ADS 625. Now, in case you don't know, I'm sponsored by OTC Bosch. They sent me the tool, full disclosure. It is a wireless scan tool. It is not a scope. There is no scope option on it. So we'll get into that in a minute, but just FYI. Now the dongle that comes with it is also a J box. So you can use this for programming with a laptop, not the tablet itself. Nobody supports Google for programming. You got to use Windows. All right, so we're going to talk about some of the things I like about it, some of the things I don't like about it, and then we'll show some data. All right, first off, I'm going to go hook up. Now the car I'm using is just a CRV. Not here for any check engine light or anything like that. It's here for an AC complaint. All right. First thing I like about it is it gives me battery voltage right on the dongle. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. So my first pet peeve is when I crank it up first thing in the morning, the VCI does not want to quickly connect. Now the rest of the day it does fine, but first thing in the morning, either it takes a minute or you have to go into this page and log in. Pretty standard setup, select vehicle, auto ID. Auto ID works really well for most vehicles. See, it's already picked it up. Now, for me, I like to always do all controllers, but I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to sit here on a and watch it. As I said, it's not here for a check engine light, so we're good on that. Now, that, that's one thing that is kind of annoying. You've got to back out, back out, but in comparison to Snap-on, it does the same thing. So if we go over to Data Stream, you know, obviously we can pick all the modules. We can customize you know, whatever we want, TPMS, mass air, air fuel ratio, misfire counters, O2 sensor heater current. Heck, we can even look at engine oil life. Now it comes up as a standard PID list. You can expand it into graph mode. Now, this is something that a lot of people complain about with Bosch. Snap-on's the same way, auto-ranging pits. Like you, that looks like it's varying all over the place. It's 2.54 to 2.56. It, it's annoying to some, but you know, you can change obviously from a line graph to digital to a bar graph, change colors if you want to change a PID to something different to highlight it. You can do that. Now, obviously, the car is not running, so I don't have anything going on. But we'll go ahead and crank it up. As you can see, auto ranging, it is what it is. <clears throat> now one annoyance for me is definitely in special tests. Now in special tests, 
one of the things that is annoying is it doesn't always let you pull up PIDs that are relevant to what you're testing. That can be annoying. And I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the fan kicked on. So that is a drawback that I hopefully, hopefully they will fix. Now, one of the things that's really nice about this tool is you can hit right there. And as long as you're hooked to the internet, and as long as your subscription is current, meaning you update the tool every year, you have access to wiring di diagrams and service information right on the tool. So we are playing with the cooling fans. Here's my wiring diagram. Quick, fast, easy access to diagrams as long as you've got Wi-Fi. No having to go to the shop computer to get information. So it's really nice as far as being able to do that. Now, obviously, you can go to web browser and you know go to Identifix or any other sites. But when you do the their motor diagrams, it takes you with the information already in to the vehicle. I don't have anything else hooked up on this. I don't have all data or Identifix hooked up. Uh, because we're maxed out on our licenses and I don't want to kick myself out on my desktop. So I don't have any of that stuff on the tool. Now range of the dongle, I am two bays over in Bam Bam's Bay and it is having no trouble staying connected. Don't pay a whole lot of attention to the, the question mark. It'll still do everything it needs to do. So. At the beginning of the video, I talked about can it replace Snap-on. Now, obviously, it doesn't have a scope. So it's not going to replace a Varus as far as being able to use a scope. But for the software, as far as scan tools, Asian and domestic, it can definitely be a viable alternative to Snap-on. Now, obviously, the scope, you're going to have to go to Pico or somebody else, which you probably should anyway but that's another video but for the software side of it in domestic and Asian this will hold its own with snap-on at a much better price point and you only pay for updates once a year and you get service information included now I have to say in the European side of it, it it's not as strong as snap-on if you do European this isn't going to be your first grab tool by a long shot. It's not my first grab tool for European, but Asian domestic. I've been grabbing this thing all the time lately. I like it. But will it replace Autel or Launch? No. I mean, it, it's a good basic shop use tool. It's a good tool for an all-around shop but it's not going to get you in some of the places that Autel or Launch will. But as far as what it has, it does, and it does very well. Other than the, the not having certain PIDs, which can be annoying, yes, I swap tools. But overall, it's a very, I've been grabbing this more, more over my Snap-on. thing about it is, is at this shop, I might have two or three scan tools going at a time, depending on what I'm doing. You know, I might be doing a post-scan code clear and watching data on one car while I'm scanning another for, you know, doing a bi-directional test, verifying repairs, or, you know, just brought it in. So I might have two or three scan tools. So that's why I like having multiple scan tools because I can grab and grab and grab. But I have been grabbing this a bunch. Now, side note, Autel has saved our butt many times in the last couple weeks. Every other tool in the shop wouldn't do, but definitely a good general scan tool. The wireless system is nice, has great range. My Snap-on hooked to that same car might be flaking out, might not. I can tell you for a fact, I put it outside my bay and it flakes out sitting up here. So. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, 
subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, subscribe. Make sure and hit that bell notification so you get notified when I put out a new video. If you don't like Bosch, give me a thumbs down. Comments are always ugh. comments are always appreciated. And as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.